Yo guys, I'm Yellow, the Norwegian hardcore PC gamer, and today I figure that we should talk about how to get better and smarter at playing CS. This is gonna be a lot about general practice, but believe me, if you do the right things when you're gonna do the basic practice, you will get a ton of benefit out of uh, playing the game, in which you'll eventually do a lot better versus what you did in the past. Uh, at least that is normally what happens, unless you're incredibly good, like, you know, the, the top 10 or 5 players in the world. <laughs> so that being said, uh, I'm also gonna take for granted that you guys got the discipline to complete this in maybe a week or just get through it at least once in uh, one week uh, and that you also have tuned your uh, setup so that it will perform the best and complement your preferences the very most. From that point onwards it's almost good to stick with your settings so that you will thoroughly find out what is uh, lacking if a setting is screwed up or might screw you over. But all this being said, all this being said, so, what I initially did, and this uh, should help to most people, especially if you have taken like a three uh, or longer uh, three months break or something, uh, was that I just booted up some of the most basic stuff in CS. A little bit of that arms race bullshit, just got fun getting back into all the guns, and then I uppered uh, my bar, as you would say, and I went into the 1v1 arena after a light little uh, community deathmatch, <laughs> uh, which is just funny to be honest, it's not serious at all. Um, and what I did then was to grind the 1v1 one deathmatch until I was able to consistently keep the number uh, one spot. It's not recommended though, especially if you aren't really good or if you don't really know too much about how to take a gunfight, how to fake out people and how you should commit or rather when you should commit as well. Regardless, just do it so that you feel that, you know what, my skill is definitely a little bit better at taking single man gunfights now than what it was before. At that point I would um, just play maybe a couple of uh, games of, uh, of uh, matchmaking if you guys want to, in which I would thoroughly thoroughly recommend Prime. If you don't have Prime, you really gotta get that, because it's starting to get filled with too many cheaters. But all that aside, play a couple of games and then wait until the next day will happen. Now, at this point, I would recommend to maybe do some KC and then do a little bit more of the deathmatch, maybe double down on the time you did, so 20 or 30 minutes of deathmatching. Or you could do what I did, which was... Um, to first do some regular community deathmatch and then I went into a uh, community server and I found a 128 tick server and I only played with a pistol and I made sure that I was able to get a respectable score against AKs and force and ops with the P250. Um, I spawned with armor so it's fine though but uh, it's really difficult uh, to take gunfights in that way especially when you have the inferior, inferior weapon and also with how you gotta play uh, ranges and cover and how to bob and weave and fake out shots so that you can commit to maybe a couple of bullets, which you, by the way, can only shoot now if you really stand still, so it's kind of difficult to do that stuff, but I was able to get to 100 kills and 120 deaths, so I found that to be respectable. Now, the, the next coming day, I did some basic uh, bullshit deathmatching, and then I went into the most insane stuff ever, at least that is insane by my standards, because I no don't normally do this, but now since my internet is uh, some hybrid fiber version, I figured I should give it a try, and I found this 20-man free-for-all 64-tick server, so some uh, people from the Space Soldiers professional CS team were playing on it. They were doing way better than me, but one of them were performing a little bit worse. So I think they're all across the board, really. But my point, though, is that I started to grind that stuff. I was just listening to metal to space out. That's actually a trick that professional Norwegian athletes are using when they're skiing and such. So it's, it's pretty effective. I mean, we are talking about the world class, the best of the best at skiing. They use this trick. So I was basically using their music trick, just listening on loop or to some insanely brutal metal. Um, and I was able to hit this respectable score on day two, and uh, I'll do a reporting for day three as well if, uh, if uh, that goes down uh, <laughs> well. So that's essentially two out of two days in which I've got a score that was uh, technically either the best or the second best on the server, which is pretty good. Now keep in mind, people, that this requires a ton of commitment. If you don't have that, you're never going to be able to develop that skill or even hit a decent score. And regardless, though, you should try and benchmark the score versus your older score. Don't think too much about what everybody else get. As long as you're able to beat yourself and your old score constant constantly, you'll be able to get way better at this game. And after that session, maybe 30 minutes of deathmatching, run into matchmaking prime or, or face it or or whatever and have some fun and see what you can be able to do and uh, always remember people there will always be another day so thanks for watching hopefully this uh, taught you people a little bit about um, 
very organic and effective ways uh, that will get you better at playing this game, especially by the raw mechanics. If you want to support me and this channel, or, and I guess also support everybody else who enjoy it, you should become a Patreon today. That way everybody else will get more videos and uh, I'll be a more happy man for doing such a nice service to you guys. You can also just follow me on, on uh, Twitch, Facebook or Twitter if you guys really wanna. That way you can see me when I go live and when new videos come up. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and as I always say, don't get beastified when you play. Which, by the way, means that I don't want you to get your fucking face uh, kicked in when you're playing, okay? So uh, play smart and safe. Uh, later. <laughs>